So I'm getting ready to do an install of OES 11. It's still beta, but I thought before I do that, I'd show you real quick how to do a, make an install server using just YAST. You, you don't have to necessarily use YAST, but it's super easy to do it this way. Uh, all you have to do is click on the install server uh, right here. If you want, to, you can filter on it. Just if you did install. Anyway, it's in the miscellaneous section. You click on that. It comes up. We can choose what type of repository you want. Select the directory. In this case, I usually just like to choose the install. I, I call it install. I may usually make one and put it there. And then, so that's the first part. And second, we need to do an alias. Of course, also install Apache, which I don't have installed, which I thought was installed. Usually I start with a pretty basic SLES server, so uh, that's why I thought I had Apache installed, but I guess not. So here it goes. Okay, Apache's installed. Now we're, we're going to, for the alias, I'm just going to call it install. You can do whatever you want. If you have your firewall enabled, make sure your port is open. Click next. And then we just are prompted for the CD and the, or the ISO, however you want to do it. Uh, we just click add repository name. Let's call it SLES 11. We can call it SLES 11 64. Or SLES 11. We're just going to keep it simple since I just have one SLES 11 repository. And if you have SLP configured, you know you can announce it over SLP. So uh, we got, I got it mounted. Just say next and continue. And that, that's pretty much it. I'll let this copy out here, and then uh, just kind of show you what it what it does. It just basically sets up an alias in Apache, and points to this whatever directory you specify. So you don't have to have the directory located in you know your HTTP uh, your server directory. Um, it, you can have it wherever you want it, really. So uh, it's pretty simple to do, as you can see. Also, if you when I uh, this is the way I usually do installs. I usually get a repository set up. If you're interested, there my friend Simon here was recently just a few days ago put up this uh, uh, cool solutions article on the Novell Cool Solutions page. You can see it right here. And if you want to just have a single CD, do the install all at the same time. Uh, nice, easy way to manage or to create that that DVD for you to just pop it in and install a server. So I'd highly recommend that. So all it's doing is copying the contents to the to the to the server here and then we'll be ready to to go. Next time I do an install, I can just point it to this repository and I don't need uh, I don't need DVDs or or anything anymore. Well, you do need DVDs, you know, to or something a, a Pixie boot or something to boot up, obviously, but it's not necessary for the the whole install. So, it makes it really nice uh, if you have a repository set up and you go to add something, you don't have to go and find DVDs to, you know, oh, I, I need this DVD and then I need this DVD and I'd switch it in and out. It's all right there for you. Now let's actually go and take a look at our install, so you can see this is. It creates a SLES 11, does a CD1, and puts everything in there. I like to just go and I'm just doing one DVD, so I take everything out of there, just put it directly underneath the SLES piece. So let's uh, take a look here. At okay, so I don't have disc two. You don't need it, so we just skip, and we're done. This it's all set up. Again, I just kind of come back in here, grab everything. Uh, and uh, cut it, paste it, and then come back here and delete that. You're all set up. If you go to a browser, uh, you'll be ready to. You'll be able to hit this directory and install from this uh, this install source. So I hope that helps you out.